Hi, hello, dear students. Welcome to English Teach Channel. I am C L Swami, English teacher. Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss eleventh standard English language and literature, chapter one, a poem, a photograph. A poem photograph written by Shelley Tolson. Dear students, let us discuss an introduction of this poem. A photograph is a poem. In this poem, she recalls her mother and her memories uh, while looking at the photograph, a childhood photograph when her mother was twelve years old or so. She has been deceased twelve years ago, and she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss. Actually, the mother. This poem photograph is a tribute to the poet's mother. She is looking at an old photograph of her mother, which has a frame of a cardboard. The picture has three girls, in which the middle one is tall and the oldest. Maybe uh, she is a mother. It is her mother when she was twelve years old or so. Beside her, on the both side of her head, two cousins. The cousins' names were Betty and Dolly, and who were holding her hands and who were younger than her. They went for walking on a beach holiday. Her uncle took the photograph. Then, the poet could not help. But notice her mother's sweet face when the poet look at the photograph. His mother was smiling. The sea touched her trebly and transient feet, which depict that she changed over the years, and the sea remains the same. Which means the author says. nature is nature everything changed mother died and cousins somewhere gone and the poet become very old and the photograph also very old so everything changed unless except the sea nature after 20 30 years her mother would laugh at the photograph on photograph only not in a real she would make the poet like at the photograph and tell her how their parents uh, would dress up for the beach holiday so from the photograph we can understand how the parents dressed them for the beach holidays the beach holiday was her mother's favorite spot and it is the past memories will her laugh was the poet's favorite memory so the poet's mother love is very favorite for poet both of them lost something which they crushed a lot and it cannot leave that moment again but that is the life so dear students now we will discuss um line by line the first paragraph first line the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went pedaling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some tall years or so so the first paragraph and fourth four line here the difficult word is uh, pedaling so the meaning pedaling is walking the author describes in these four lines the poet is looking at an old 
photo album that is a cardboard which is made up of of cardboard and hanged on the wall in the picture there are three girls who were walking on the beach holding each other's hands the girl in the middle is the tallest and oldest woman the other two girls on each side are younger than her the girl in the middle is the poet's mother she is around 12 years old and when the picture was taken so this is what explained by the poet from these four lines let us go for the uh, next four line all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea when appears to have changed less and washed their terribly and transient feet so in this poem in this paragraph transient means short term or a temporary short term or temporary that is the feet uh, temporary feet in the above lines the poet describes how the photograph was taken her mother's uncle took the photograph and told them to stop and give force all three of them left their wet hair open and smiled at the camera the poet's attention is drawn towards his mother's face which is described as a sweet face here sweet face the paragraph was taken long before and the photograph was taken long before the pa- poet was born the poet calls their feet terrible transient as they were so young by then and now they had grown old now they are gone old on the other hand the sea which touched their feet has changed less everything's changed next paragraph some 20 30 years later should laughed at the snapshot see pity and tolly and should say and looked how they dressed as for the beach the sea holiday so here in this paragraph the snapshot is a photograph so here after 20 30 years later she would laugh at the photograph she would laugh at the photograph she would tell me to look at the her cousins betty and dolly and how their parents would dress all three of them up for the beach holiday they would have planned to take a photograph before head so it was a happy moment and the situation located on the uh, beach so next line was her post mine is her lofter and both ready with the labored easy of loss so in this line the poet recalls the sea holidays was her mother's favorite moment from the past so here the very w r y the meaning is ironic mocking so while the poet's favorite moment for the past was her mother's laughter actually her mother's favorite spot is beach but here in the poem the author's favorite moment for the past was her mother's laughter the poet talks about only the mother's memories 
both the women would think about those past memories which they cannot live again they tried their best to adjust to what they lost so this is what the author want to say from this uh, paragraph we'll move on to on the next paragraph now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it's a silence and silences see the wonderful line it's silence and silences here the silences is a, a complete absence of sound which means closed dead so in this last paragraph the author reminds that the poet says that her mother died 12 years ago the same age her mother was in the photograph whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death she cannot explain what effect she has of her mother's death so death has silenced her mother which has also left her speechless so here the poet thinks about his mother memories now mother he is not with him or with her so silence silences okay dear students we will discuss the another topic you know with the another uh, video those who are not subscribed till subscribe my channel my channel name is english teach